And uh, I want to follow up on Senator Wyden's questions. Uh, this shows that we can find an intersection where we can find some serious agreement on a bipartisan basis. Um, and so I'm going to follow up just to try to noodle out a little bit more information about this exact question. Uh, and Ms. Collins, I really uh, found interesting your comment about uh, paper being the kryptonite for the IRS. As, uh, as Americans who listened to your testimony uh, heard you say that and describe it, and then heard the, f the uh, rest of the testimony of our panelists, it must have been mind-blowing to them to, to believe that that's the way it is with the IRS in, in terms of their IT infrastructure and, and technology. And it seems to me that this is something that we really do need to solve. Uh, I've asked the IRS, and we'll continue asking them, as, as Senator Wyden said in our next hearing, we're going to, on, on this issue, I expect that we'll have a chance to ask them here, uh, what, what is their plan and what is it going to cost? How do we need to fund it to get this issue solved? Uh, just a couple of more data points. As you know, in fiscal year 2021, the IRS was given a special $1 billion allocation uh, for IT modernization, which represents about three to four times its annual IT modernization appropriation request. Uh, but we don't know whether that was enough or whether it was just a drop in the bucket or how we need to deal with it. It currently, the IRS has actually only spent or committed about 160 million of that appropriation, around 16 uh, percent. If, if you go on, uh, from fiscal year 2018 through 2021, on average, only 1.44 percent of the IRS's appropriated funding has been allocated to modernization, as compared to nearly 42 percent for enforcement and 35 percent for operations support, which includes trying to stand up and maintain the existing outdated infrastructure. Uh, as you know, the IRS gets around 10% of its operating budget from non-appropriated funds, such as user fees, and it entirely controls how these fees are spent. Uh, are these being allocated to modernization, or are they being allocated to some other function? So my question, uh, which I'd really like each of you to respond to um, briefly, we've got about two and a half minutes for you to finish your responses here. Uh, is just, can you put a little more detail on this? Is there any, do we have any notion? Uh, Ms. Lucas, Judy, you indicated that you're reviewing their plan, which means they must have a plan. Is there any notion as to uh, whether the plan is sufficiently detailed that we could know how much it's going to cost? What do we need to do in terms of making that funding support available for the IRS to get this issue fixed? Could we just, again, go down the line, Ms. Collins? Yeah, my understanding as well um, is that they do have a plan. I believe they have a price tag associated with the plan. I think their concern is it is a very large dollar that they cannot start it without multi-year funding. And so it's sort of you start and stop a, a project this size. And so what they have been doing, unfortunately, a large percentage of their operation uh, or their budget goes to what I call putting the Band-Aids on the 60 legacy systems. We need to decommission those systems and again, start from the foundation and work their way up. Again, my understanding is they don't feel they have the funding sufficient for multi-year to do the foundation. So again, we're working on the Band-Aids to keep the system running. Do you have any idea what that funding amount is? I mean, are you, can you even give us a ballpark idea? I, I do not. We can always supplement it and, and get that information for you. All right, you. I'd appreciate that. Ms. Lucas Fry? I mean, Judy? <laughs> Um, likewise, I think also, you know, as I said, we are looking at the plan. Um, it was delayed somewhat in part from the pa pandemic and the same supply chain issues uh, that others have been dealing with. Um, but really, the, the multi-year funding, I think, was, was one piece of it. Um, also, just making sure that, uh, that it's uh, sufficiently coordinated with all the different parts of IRS and the different stakeholders um, to make sure that the priorities are set among the different systems. Thank you. And Ms. Lewis? I'll, I will defer to uh, the GAO and the taxpayer advocate and, and look forward to working with this. All right. One quick question that either of you could, any of you could answer, if you, if you know the answer, it would seem to me that if we can get going on this plan and we can get down the road on, on coordinating, uh, getting rid of the kryptonite, that we would save tremendous amounts of money in the, in the IRS budget that is now being used to deal with kryptonite. Am I, am I seeing that wrong? 
No, I, I, I think not only do I agree, but if you ask the IRS, I think they would wholeheartedly agree to that as well. All right. Thank you.